All right, good afternoon, guys. I've been waiting to do this since we got here. Um, yeah, it's uh, bed expansion time, and we are gonna expand this bed on the right-hand side. Now, it's kind of a cool day. Uh, it's overcast, the wind is blowing. Sorry about the uh, sound quality. Um, and it's probably mid 80s, so it's not not too bad. So I'm gonna try to get this done as quickly as possible. So um, Yeah, let's go Okay, so the first thing we did was we just measured everything out uh, We did a two foot wood chip pathway and then a three foot bed two foot pathway and then another two foot wood chip pathway Okay, the second thing we did was um, or I did. I had to shovel all this, uh, the compost. It, it got delivered and, and dumped in front. So I just shoveled it into uh, where our pathway is gonna be. All right, so what am I gonna be laying down under the beds to create the lasagna thing? Obviously, we're not in Victoria anymore. Uh, we had tons of leaves. We had uh, tons of seaweed and uh, we had a few other um, amendments. So we don't have that here, obviously. I mean, we could get kelp mill, but it's uh, uber expensive. But what we do have is Bukashi. Uh, it's something that we made in Victoria ourselves. Uh, you make it through lab. Um, I actually did a video on it, but um, go, ve go check out uh, Jason. If you're interested in Bukashi or uh, lab, J uh, Jason at Fraser Valley Rose Farm. Um, we'll link his video at the end. Awesome video on how to do it. And um, we had some great results. But Julie here has bought the kit. You can see those little buckets. And it's a really easy system of kind of closing the loop on your uh, household waste. And the fertility is off the charts with it. So first thing I got to do is spread that out. And then uh, we'll go to the next step. Awesome. Let's go. So I don't know if you guys can see that. It probably grossed a few of you, but um, yeah, that's just basically um, mycelium and uh, it's breaking everything down nicely. And yeah, it basically smells like pickles to me. Um, if it smells like rotting food, you're doing it wrong. Um, and then you, you might want to figure it out. So um, anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna get busy on uh, spreading this stuff out. All right, so that's an adorable amount of Pagashi, but it's what we have on hand. So we're gonna use what we have on hand. Uh, we got a bunch of coffee, um, nice and uh, moldy. So I'll spread that out as well. Okay, and then the only other thing I got left is some uh, seedy grass. So I'm just gonna put that down and uh, yeah, we'll start building it. Okay, now I'm just gonna uh, wet it in and then uh, go to the next step. All right, next step, cardboard. Um, yeah, I was talking to someone today, uh, Rebecca from Littlefoot Ranch, and she has a heck of a time getting uh, cardboard. So this is actually from the um, nursery, um, the uh, plant store. They had a bunch and they said, take it. Not one stick of tape, nothing on this stuff. It's uh, kind of perfect, but she doesn't have access to that. So a great tip is to phone appliance stores. Appliance stores have tons of cardboard and um, would love to get rid of it. Um, no tape as well on, on, on the uh, big appliance store stuff. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get busy laying this stuff down. The only thing, other thing I'd say is I wet the cardboard in the, in, the, um, in the growing beds, but I don't wet it in the, uh, in the wood chip pathways. Just, I think it lasts a bit longer, maybe. Um, and uh, we'll keep that grass down for longer. So I'll just get busy doing that. All right, next up, sweet, sweet double ground wood chips. I gotta say, one of the proudest moments of our first three weeks here uh, is how I'm able to pack Julie's car um, with this. It's free if you go pick them up yourself. And uh, yeah, pretty proud of that. So anyways, let's get spread these. By the way, three bucks, three bucks at the uh, recycling facility. 
Um, yeah, super thick. I can see some things growing out of here. Petite pata potato. Okay, got her done. Uh, it took about two hours all in. Uh, the uh, the foreman had uh, some special requests, so it, it took a little bit longer. But uh, yeah, super quick. Um, everything's free except for the uh, compost. It was thirty bucks a yard. Um, sounds like good value, but it's actually CAC. Um, so we're gonna have to add a lot of amendments to it. But um, the best amendment is roots in the ground. So, um, yeah, super stoked. Um, fun little project, and um, yeah, we're gonna be planting in here soon. We got a we got a bunch of stuff um, slowly shell gaming its way out of the house and uh, ready to plant out. So, that leaves this half here. Um, very excited about doing this half. This is gonna be something new for me. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna get to do it. Um, maybe this week. Maybe next week. Um, hopefully before the heat, the real heat comes. Um, the sun did come out, but it only got up to like 85, so it wasn't bad. Um, but yeah, I am super stoked about doing this side. So keep your eyes open for that one. And uh, yeah, any uh, suggestions you guys got for this? Um, fill your boots. Um, definitely not perfect, but we'll be able to shape it up. And the, uh, the girls are gonna, the ladies are gonna love it. So um, yeah, super stoked. See the foreman's taking care of bird control, trying to protect these worms, which reminds me, I am going to lay some cardboard here uh, until we get uh, some roots in the ground. So, um, yeah, sufficiently sweating. Uh, you guys stay awesome. Cheers. What do you think, Tom? You like it? Uh, let's go. Thank you.